Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University and in this video we're going to take a quick look at how to export a course from one Moodle server and import it into another Moodle server. This might be useful for you if you have an account at one institution and you're copying materials from a course over to one of your courses at another institution or in our case right now, we're migrating to a new Moodle server. So if you want to copy your course from the old Moodle server to the new one, these are the steps that you would use. Your first step, once you've found the course you want to copy, is to turn editing on. Once editing is turned on, look for your navigation menu on the left-hand side of the screen. And we are going to scroll on down to the administration area. You'll see some options here, backup, restore, and import. In our case, we want to hit the backup option. And I am going to export everything from this. So I could just hit next if I want to go from step to step, or I could hit jump to the final step. In our case, we're going to hit jump to the final step. Where I would use next is if I don't actually want to copy the entire course. Let's say, for example, I just wanted to copy one quiz or one Moodle book that I had created because I want to uh, bring some materials from that topic into another course. Then I would use the next button and I would go through the process and we can actually uh, go through that process here. Now I would deselect anything that I don't need and uh, I would then simply select the module that it's in and the one Moodle book or the one quiz that I wanted to copy and deselect everything else down below. So that's the only thing that's exported. In our case, we want everything. So I am going to just click next here now. And I'm going to perform the backup. Now my backup has been created. I'm going to click on continue. And you'll see all the backups that I've created for my course or for any of my courses down here. This is my most recent one. They're organized by date. So I'm going to hit download on this. And it's going to download this to my computer. Now my file has finished downloading. So I'm going to go get this from my downloads folder. And I'm going to move this into a folder where I can find it again later. So for my course here, 5103, I have a designated folder called Moodle. And I'm just going to put my backup in here. And it's got this really long name to it. So I'm going to rename this to something I can recognize for later. Just make sure you leave this .mbz extension. And I'm going to call this EDUC5103. Export and I'm going to put the date on it in case I have more than one copy. So this is 20 July 2020. So now I have my backup file. I can import this as many times as I want, either onto this Moodle server or the new one. Now that I have my course export ready to go, I'm going to come over to the new Moodle server or where I want to import that course. So I'm going to scroll on down, find a course shell that I want to use. I have a couple of empty course shells here for the winter 2021 term. I'm going to use this one for 5103. When I come in, I'm going to make sure that I have editing turned on. It's turned on right now in this case. If it's not, just click the button up here. And on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see the same navigation and administration blocks that you saw on the old server. Just an updated look and feel. I'm going to scroll on down to administration and because I'm using an external file, I have my backup restore and import options here. Backup lets you get that backup file import. You would use if you want to copy one of your courses that is already on this server. So I'm going to use restore. You'll see that it brings up a block here for me to, uh, to upload a file. So I'm going to go find the file that I just downloaded drag it and drop it in here and wait for it to finish uploading. Now my file is uploaded. I am just going to hit this restore button and it's going to walk me through the steps. And for the most part, you can pretty much scroll right on down to the bottom 
and click on continue and you don't have to worry about any of these actions here so i want to restore into this course yes i want to merge the backup into the course or delete the contents of this course and then restore i'm going to hit delete and restore in this case because i have nothing in this course to worry about if you had already built anything in this course hit merge so i'm going to hit delete and replace and next I'm going to accept all of these settings here. Next again, perform the restore. The re course was restored successfully. Click continue. We'll take you back to the view of the course that you've restored. And my course is now imported. About all that's left for me to do is to go down through this change any of the labels that I have in here and update those to reflect the new calendar for the new term and uh, make sure that the due dates for all of my assignments, quizzes, or anything of the like are updated and reflect the current calendar.